love I'm you. I'm excited. Yeah. Nice right. to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So how can I help? What can I do? I hear that. That's a yeah. pretty intense yeah. bar. Yeah. We have a couple of problems. Probably yes. the biggest one is what's happening right now. People yeah. coming over, and when people come over, they just they go crazy. Yeah. They tackle. They jump. They push. Yeah. Um, and so this is what we'll do. Sometimes we'll have them in our bedroom. They yeah. they come barreling like a out. bull. Yeah. Uh huh. We like call it the stampede. Uh -huh. Stampede. <laughs> Even worse. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah. I can tell that bark is pretty frustrated. So I'm talking with Brian and Floor, and I can hear the dogs getting loud and frustrated in the other room, which makes sense. These are adolescent dogs with a lot of energy, and they're pent up behind closed doors. I'll be frustrated too. Yeah, they get frustrated. Mm -hmm. when he what about you? What about me? Yes. I get frustrated. Yeah. yeah. I get frustrated yeah. having to continue. It's in your eyes. I know, I, I, I feel it. It's true. Yeah. So what do you think, Floor? What do you think the problem is from a Latina point of view? For me, it's just like I baby them a lot, and okay. especially Bruce, the chocolate lab. So I think it's just me like wanting to like show that much love, how like in the Latina household we do, right? Like we just show the love to our kids. In yes. this case, our kids are the dogs. Yes. They're my life. Okay. It sounds bad, right? <laughs> in a way. Out of balance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right off the bat, it's clear this house is holding a lot of frustration. I hear frustrated barking from the dogs, and it is obvious that Brian and Floor are feeling it too. So it's time to start releasing some of that frustration. I am so ready to see your dogs, to experience the, uh, what do you call it? Stampede. It's stampede. <laughs> All right, I'm going to open the door. Yes, 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 yes. OK, guys. Oh my goodness, Bruce and Teddy, they're pent up. Teddy. You know, guys, we're here. We have all this energy to share. Teddy. This guy is like a, like a bull. Yeah. yeah. We have no rules, bounds, limitations. We believe the whole world belongs to us. This is the bull right here. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is your stampede energy right here. Yeah. Shoot the area. I leash that Bruce first because he's clearly the more dominant one. He has the higher energy. And once Bruce starts to calm down, I put a leash on Teddy to get him under control too. See, th this okay. is calm surrender. Yeah. That's how they're supposed to show support. Mm -hmm. Not by jumping on you. Yeah. That's not yeah. support at all. Yeah. They have never been as calm as they were. I've never seen them respond like that. And uh, I, I think, frankly, I had lost some faith in them and their ability to control themselves. So to see this, I was like, wow. Let's do it again. OK. Take they, them to the room. Yes. And you take off the leash. OK. Come on, guys. No, no. Just take them. Got it. OK. So when she uses, come on, guys, it creates <laughs> excitement. Yeah. OK? To help your dog get into a state of calm surrender, if you're using your voice, you must speak in a calm, confident way. And that definitely means no high pitch baby talk. Come on, guys. That just gets dogs more excited. But really, the best way to project calm confidence is to not say much at all. It's too excited. Back on the leash. Nope, don't move back. So instead of you moving back, Move in. OK. By you doing this, you are encouraging to keep going in your intimate space. Yeah. You're practicing in the animal world flight. Yeah. So you have to claim your space. 